I am thrilled to be here with you today. Are you someone who struggles with reaching your dreams? Do you often find yourself feeling stuck and unsure of how to move forward? Well, my friend, you are not alone. In today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to reach your dreams. These are the same strategies that have helped me and countless others turn our dreams into reality. You see, I believe that everyone has the potential to achieve their dreams, but it takes determination, hard work, and a clear plan of action. And that's exactly what I am here to provide for you today. So, if you're ready to take control of your life and start making your dreams a reality, then I invite you to keep reading. Because by the end of this message, you will have the tools and motivation you need to turn things around and start living the life you've always imagined. So, let's dive in and discover the five ways to reach your dreams. Let's get started. Starting with number five, which is reaching your dreams by continuously learning and growing. You see, my friends, reaching your dreams is not a one-time event. It is a journey that requires constant growth and learning. It is about consistently pushing yourself to be better, to do better, and to achieve more. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I'm already successful. I have achieved my dreams. Why do I need to continue learning and growing? My answer to that is simple, because there is always room for improvement. As human beings, we have the incredible ability to keep growing and evolving. And if we do not use that ability, we are doing a disservice to ourselves and to the world. Let me tell you a story. When I was a young man, I had a mentor who taught me the importance of continuous learning. He told me, Jim, if you want to be successful, you must be a lifelong learner. You must always be hungry for knowledge and never be satisfied with what you already know. Those words stuck with me and I have lived by them ever since. I have always made it a point to dedicate at least an hour every day to learning something new. It could be reading a book, attending a seminar, or even just having a conversation with someone who has a different perspective than mine. And let me tell you, my friends, that hour has been the most valuable hour of my day. It has allowed me to constantly grow and improve both personally and professionally. Now, some of you may be wondering, but Jim, I don't have the time to dedicate an hour every day to learning. My response to that is, make the time. We all have 24 hours in a day, and it is up to us how we choose to use it. If you truly want to reach your dreams, you must make learning a priority. And trust me, the rewards will be worth it. Continuous learning not only helps us grow and improve, but it also opens up new opportunities. As we learn and expand our knowledge, we become more valuable to ourselves and to others. We become more equipped to handle challenges and take on new ventures. And that, my friends, is the key to reaching our dreams. Being open to new opportunities and constantly growing to make the most of them. Another important aspect of continuous learning is that it keeps us humble. No matter how successful we may become, there is always something new to learn. And by acknowledging that, we keep our egos in check and remain open to learning from others. As the saying goes, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. Now, I want to address a common misconception about learning. Many people believe that learning is only about gaining knowledge and acquiring new skills. But the truth is, learning is also about unlearning. It is about letting go of old beliefs and habits that are holding us back from reaching our full potential. It is about being open to change and growth. So, set aside time to read, attend seminars, listen to podcasts, or have meaningful conversations. And most importantly, be open to learning from anyone and everyone. You never know where your next lesson may come from. Which leads us to number four, which is reaching your dreams by surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. You see, we are greatly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with. They can either lift us up or bring us down. They can either inspire us or discourage us. They can either help us reach our dreams or hold us back. That is why it is essential to carefully choose the people we allow into our lives. Now, you may ask, what exactly do I mean by positive and supportive people? Let me break it down for you. Positive people are those who have a positive outlook on life. They see the good in every situation, and they radiate positive energy wherever they go. They are the ones who believe in possibilities, not limitations. They are the ones who see the glass as half full, not half empty. Surrounding yourself with positive people will not only uplift your spirits, 
but it will also help you develop a positive mindset, which is crucial in achieving your dreams. On the other hand, supportive people are those who genuinely care about your well-being and your success. They are the ones who cheer you on, celebrate your victories, and offer a shoulder to cry on during tough times. They are the ones who believe in your dreams even when you doubt yourself. Surrounding yourself with supportive people will not only give you a sense of belonging and security, but it will also provide you with a support system that will push you towards your goals. Now, you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I don't have any positive or supportive people in my life? Well, my dear friend, let me tell you this. You have the power to choose the people you surround yourself with. You have the power to distance yourself from negative and toxic individuals. You have the power to seek out and build relationships with positive and supportive people. It may not be easy, but it is necessary. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people also means being one yourself. Be the kind of person you want to attract into your life. Spread positivity and support to those around you. Be the light that shines in someone else's darkness, and I guarantee you, the right people will be drawn to you. Now, you may also be wondering, what about the people I can't choose to be around, like my family or my co-workers? My answer to that is this. You may not be able to choose your family or co-workers, but you can choose how you respond to them. You can choose to set boundaries and not let their negativity affect you. You can choose to be a positive influence in their lives. And who knows, your positivity and support may just rub off on them. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people is not just about having a good time or being popular. It is about creating a supportive environment that will help you grow and thrive. It is about surrounding yourself with people who will challenge you, inspire you, and push you to be the best version of yourself. It is about surrounding yourself with people who will help you reach your dreams. Which leads us to number three, which is reaching your dreams by taking action. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have been taking action, and nothing seems to be happening. My dreams still feel so far away. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Taking action is not a one-time thing. It is a continuous process. It is a journey that requires dedication, perseverance, and most importantly, consistency. You see, many people have big dreams, but only a few are willing to take action consistently. They may start off strong, but when they face obstacles and challenges, they give up. And that's where they go wrong, because obstacles and challenges are a part of the journey towards reaching our dreams. They are not meant to stop us, but to make us stronger and more determined. So, what does taking action really mean? It means setting clear and specific goals. It means creating a plan and taking consistent steps towards achieving those goals. It means being disciplined and staying committed to your goals, even when things get tough. It means being proactive and not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but creating them for yourself. It means putting in the hard work and not being afraid to fail, because failure is just a stepping stone towards success. But most importantly, taking action means taking responsibility for your own life. It means understanding that you are the only one in control of your dream and your destiny. You cannot rely on anyone else to make your dreams come true. It is up to you to take action and make it happen. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't know where to start. I don't know what actions to take. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. The first step is always the hardest. But once you take that first step, the rest will fall into place. And the best way to take that first step is by setting a SMART goal. A SMART goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, if your dream is to start your own business, your goal could be to save a certain amount of money within a specific time frame to invest in your business. And then you break that goal down into smaller actionable steps, like cutting down on unnecessary expenses, taking up a side hustle, or learning new skills that will help you in your business. And then you take consistent action towards achieving those smaller goals, which will ultimately lead you to your bigger goal of starting your own business. But remember, taking action also means being adaptable. Sometimes our plans may not work out the way we want them to, and that's okay. We need to be flexible and open to change. We need to be willing to adjust our plans and take a different approach, because the only way to fail is by giving up. 
As long as we keep taking action, we are moving forward towards our dreams. Don't wait for the perfect moment, because there will never be a perfect moment. The time is now. Take that first step towards your dreams, and keep taking consistent action. And I promise you, one day you will look back and realize that all your hard work and determination has paid off. You will be living your dream life and inspiring others to do the same. Which leads us to number two, which is reaching your dreams by creating a plan. You see, having a dream without a plan is like having a ship without a rudder. It may set sail, but it will never reach its destination. A plan is the roadmap that guides us towards our dreams. It gives us direction, purpose, and a clear path to follow. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't know how to create a plan. I'm not a strategist or a business guru. Well, let me tell you, my friend, creating a plan is not rocket science. It is simply a matter of breaking down your dream into smaller achievable goals, and then creating a roadmap to reach those goals. The first step in creating a plan is to identify your dream. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it financial success, a fulfilling career, a happy and healthy family? Whatever it may be, write it down and make it clear. Your dream should be specific and measurable. For example, instead of saying, I want to be rich, a smart goal would be, I want to earn $1 million in the next five years. Once you have identified your dream, the next step is to break it down into smaller achievable goals. These goals should be realistic and aligned with your dream. For example, if your dream is to earn $1 million in the next five years, your goals could be to increase your income by 20% each year or to start a side business that generates an additional dollar fifty thousand per year. And then comes the important part, creating a roadmap to reach those goals. This is where you need to be strategic. Look at each goal and think about the steps you need to take to achieve it. What skills do you need to develop? What resources do you need? Who can you reach out to for help? Write down each step and create a timeline for when you want to achieve them. But remember, a plan is not set in stone. It is a flexible document that can be adjusted and modified as needed. As you progress towards your goals, you may encounter roadblocks or new opportunities that require you to make changes to your plan. And that's okay. The important thing is to keep moving forward and to never lose sight of your dream. Now, let me share with you some tips to help you create a successful plan. First, be specific and detailed. The more specific your plan is, the easier it will be to follow and achieve. Second, be realistic. Don't set goals that are too far-fetched or unattainable. This will only lead to disappointment and frustration. Third, be accountable. Share your plan with someone you trust and ask them to hold you accountable. This will keep you motivated and on track. And lastly, remember to celebrate your successes along the way. Every time you achieve a goal, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate it. This will give you the motivation and confidence to keep going towards your dream. Which leads us to number one, which is reaching your dreams by setting clear and specific goals. You see, setting goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to achieve. It is about creating a roadmap, a blueprint, a plan of action that will lead you to the life you desire. Goals are the foundation upon which you can build your dreams and turn them into reality. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever embarked on a journey without knowing your destination? Would you get into a car and start driving without a clear idea of where you want to go? Of course not. And yet, many of us go through life without a clear destination in mind. We have vague ideas of what we want, but we never take the time to truly define and articulate our dreams. And that, my friends, is where goals come in. Goals give us direction, they give us purpose, and they give us something to strive for. But not just any goals, clear and specific goals. Vague goals like, I want to be successful, or, I want to be happy, are not enough. They lack clarity and specificity, making it difficult for us to create a plan of action to achieve them. We need to be specific about what we want and when we want it. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, how do we set clear and specific goals? First and foremost, we need to be honest with ourselves. What is it that we truly want? What are our deepest desires, our passions, our dreams? Take the time to reflect on these questions and write down your answers. This will be the first step towards defining your goals.
Next, we need to make our goals smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Let me break it down for you. Specific means clearly defining what you want to achieve. Measurable means setting a way to track your progress. Attainable means setting realistic goals that are within your reach. Relevant means aligning your goals with your values and priorities. And time-bound means setting a deadline for when you want to achieve your goals. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, a smart goal would be, I want to become a successful entrepreneur by starting my own business within the next two years. Do you see the difference? The second goal is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. And this is the kind of goal that will lead you towards your dreams. But setting goals is not enough. We also need to have a plan of action to achieve them. Think of your goals as a destination, and your plan is the route you will take to get there. Break down your goals into small actionable steps, create a timeline, and hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, take action every single day towards your goals. I want to make one thing clear. Setting goals does not guarantee success. There will be obstacles, challenges, and setbacks along the way. But that's okay. It's all part of the journey towards your dreams. What matters is how you respond to these challenges. Will you give up, or will you keep pushing forward? Remember, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Goals give us direction, purpose, and a plan of action. So, take the time to define your dreams, make them smart, and create a plan to achieve them. And always remember, the journey towards your dreams may not be easy, but it will be worth it. So, go out there and make your dreams a reality. Thank you. I am thrilled to share with you today's message on setting and achieving goals. Are you someone who struggles with setting goals and actually following through to achieve them? You are not alone. In fact, many people face this very challenge. But here's the good news. By listening to this message, you can turn things around and start achieving your goals like never before. Today, I will be sharing with you five powerful ways to set goals and actually achieve them. These are the same strategies that have helped me and countless others reach our dreams and live fulfilling lives. So, if you're ready to take control of your life and make your goals a reality, then let's dive in together. We will learn how to set meaningful goals, develop a plan of action, stay motivated, and overcome any obstacles that may come our way. I promise you, by the end of this message, you will have a clear understanding of how to set and achieve your goals, and you will be equipped with the tools to make it happen. So, let's get started on this journey towards success and achievement. Starting with number five, set goals and achieve them by staying motivated and committed. Staying motivated and committed is not as easy as it sounds. It takes discipline, perseverance, and a strong mindset to stay on track and achieve your goals. Setting goals is the easy part. Anyone can do it. But the real challenge lies in staying motivated and committed to those goals. It's like planting a seed. You can't just plant it and expect it to grow on its own. You have to water it, nurture it, and give it the right environment for it to grow into a beautiful tree. Similarly, you can't just set goals and expect them to manifest magically. You have to put in the work and stay motivated and committed to make them a reality. So, how do we stay motivated and committed to our goals? The first step is to have a strong why. Your why is the reason behind your goals. It's what drives you and keeps you going when the going gets tough. As the saying goes, when your why is strong, your how becomes easy. So, ask yourself, why do you want to achieve this goal? What will it bring into your life? How will it make you feel? Your why should be powerful enough to push you through any obstacles that come your way. The second step is to have a clear vision. You must have a crystal clear vision of what you want to achieve. This vision should be so vivid that you can almost taste it, feel it, and see it. When your vision is clear, it becomes easier to stay motivated and committed because you know exactly what you are working towards. So, take some time to visualize your goals and make them as real as possible in your mind. The third step is to break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks. Sometimes, our goals can seem overwhelming and daunting, which can lead to a lack of motivation. But when we break them down into smaller tasks, it becomes more manageable and less intimidating. 
This also gives us a sense of accomplishment every time we complete a task, which in turn motivates us to keep going. The fourth step is to surround yourself with the right people. We are greatly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with, so it's important to choose wisely. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you, who believe in you and your goals. These people will not only motivate you but also hold you accountable and keep you committed to your goals. Finally, the fifth step is to celebrate your wins. No matter how small they may seem, often we get so caught up in achieving our goals that we forget to celebrate our progress. But celebrating our wins, no matter how small, gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep going. So, make sure to take the time to celebrate your progress and give yourself a pat on the back. One of my favorite quotes from the great Zig Ziglar says, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Staying motivated and committed is not a one-time thing. It's a daily practice. Just like we have to brush our teeth every day to maintain good dental hygiene, we have to work on our motivation and commitment every day to achieve our goals. Which leads us to number four, creating a plan and setting a timeline. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, why do I need a plan? Can't I just work hard and see where it takes me? Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Without a plan, you are like a ship without a captain, drifting aimlessly in the sea. You may have all the determination and hard work, but without a plan, you will not reach your desired destination. Creating a plan is like drawing a map that will guide you towards your goals. It gives you a clear direction and helps you stay focused on your journey. Just like a map, a plan will have different routes and detours, but it will ultimately lead you to your destination. Without a plan, you will be lost, and you will waste your time and energy trying to figure out what to do next. Now, let's talk about setting a timeline. Time is the most valuable asset we have. It is the one thing that we cannot buy or get back. And that is why it is crucial to set a timeline for our goals. Without a timeline, our goals will remain dreams, and we will never take action towards achieving them. When we set a timeline, we create a sense of urgency, and it motivates us to take action towards our goals. But creating a plan and setting a timeline is not just about writing down a list of things to do and setting a deadline, it is about being strategic and realistic. You must have a clear understanding of your goals and what it takes to achieve them. You must break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks and set a timeline for each of them. This will not only help you stay on track but also give you a sense of accomplishment as you complete each task. Another crucial aspect of creating a plan and setting a timeline is to be flexible. Life is unpredictable, and things may not always go as planned. But that should not discourage you from pursuing your goals. Instead, be open to making adjustments and changes to your plan when necessary. Remember, the destination may remain the same, but the journey may have a few detours. Now, some of you may be wondering, how do I create a plan and set a timeline? Well, my friends, it all starts with clarity. You must have a clear understanding of what you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it. Once you have that, start by writing down your goals. Be specific and make sure your goals are measurable. This will help you track your progress and make adjustments if needed. Next, break down your goals into smaller achievable tasks. This will make your goals less daunting and more manageable. Then, set a timeline for each task keeping in mind that it should be realistic and achievable. Remember, it is better to set a longer timeline and achieve your goals than to set an unrealistic one and feel discouraged when you don't meet it. But creating a plan and setting a timeline is not enough, you must also take action. As I have said before, a plan without action is just a dream. So, make sure you take consistent action towards your goals, and don't forget to celebrate your victories along the way. This will keep you motivated and give you the energy to keep going. Which leads us to number three. Set goals and achieve them by breaking them down into smaller achievable tasks. This may seem like a simple concept, but it is one that is often overlooked. We tend to set big, lofty goals for ourselves, which is great, but we often get overwhelmed and discouraged when we don't see immediate results. This is where breaking down our goals into smaller tasks can make all the difference. Let me give you an example. Say you have a goal to lose 50 pounds in a year. That may seem like a daunting task, 
And if you focus solely on that end goal, you may feel discouraged and give up before even starting. But if you break it down into smaller achievable tasks, such as losing five pounds in the first month, then another five in the second month, and so on, suddenly the big goal doesn't seem so scary anymore. And before you know it, you have achieved your ultimate goal of losing 50 pounds. Breaking down our goals into smaller tasks not only makes them more manageable, but also allows us to track our progress and celebrate our achievements along the way. It gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep going. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day. Similarly, our goals won't be achieved in a day. But by breaking them down into smaller tasks, we can make steady progress towards them. Now, you may be wondering, how do we go about breaking down our goals into smaller tasks? The first step is to clearly define your end goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Be specific and make sure it is something that truly matters to you. Next, ask yourself, what are the steps I need to take to reach that goal? Write them down and prioritize them in order of importance. Once you have your list of steps, it's time to break them down even further into smaller achievable tasks. Let's go back to the example of losing 50 pounds. One of the steps may be to start exercising regularly. Now, this may seem like a big task, but by breaking it down into smaller tasks, such as going for a 30-minute walk every day or joining a fitness class, suddenly it becomes more manageable. Another important aspect of breaking down our goals is to set a timeline. This not only helps us stay on track, but also creates a sense of urgency and motivates us to take action. Going back to our weight loss example, if we have a goal to lose five pounds in the first month, we can set a timeline of going for a walk every day for 30 minutes and cutting out junk food for the next four weeks. This gives us a clear plan of action and a specific deadline to work towards. Now, I want to address a common mistake that many people make when setting goals and breaking them down into tasks, and that is trying to do too much too soon. We all want to see results quickly. But the truth is, sustainable progress takes time. It's important to set realistic and achievable tasks for ourselves. Don't overwhelm yourself with a long list of tasks that you know deep down you won't be able to complete. Start small and build upon your successes. Lastly, I want to emphasize the importance of consistency. It's not enough to break down our goals into smaller tasks. We must also commit to taking action every day. Consistency is key in achieving any goal. It's the small daily actions that add up to big results. So, make a commitment to yourself to stick to your plan and complete your tasks every day, no matter how small they may seem. Which leads us to number two. Set goals and achieve them by making them specific and measurable. Now, you may be wondering, why is this step so important? Well, let me tell you, my friends, setting specific and measurable goals is the key to turning your dreams into reality. It is the difference between merely wishing for something and actually making it happen. When we set vague and general goals, such as, I want to be successful, or, I want to be rich, we are not giving ourselves a clear target to aim for. It's like shooting an arrow without a target. You may hit something, but you won't know if it's the right thing. On the other hand, when we set specific and measurable goals, we are creating a roadmap for our success. We know exactly what we want to achieve, and we have a way to measure our progress towards it. Let me share a personal experience with you. When I first started my journey towards success, I had a vague goal of being wealthy. But as I learned more about goal setting, I realized that I needed to be more specific. So, I set a goal to earn $100,000 in a year. This goal was specific, and it was measurable. I could track my progress and see if I was on the right track. And you know what? I achieved that goal, and it was a pivotal moment in my life. From that day on, I understood the power of setting specific and measurable goals. Now, let me break down these two elements for you. First, specificity. When we set specific goals, we are giving ourselves a clear target to aim for. We are defining exactly what we want to achieve. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, we can say, I want to start my own business and make a profit of $50,000 in the first year. Do you see the difference? The latter is more specific, and it gives us a clear picture of what we want to achieve. Next, let's talk about measurability. This is where we give ourselves a way to track our progress towards our goals. It's like having a GPS on a road trip. 
We need to know if we are heading in the right direction. Measurability also allows us to celebrate our small wins along the way. For example, if our goal is to lose 20 pounds in a year, we can set a monthly goal of losing 2 pounds. This way, we can track our progress and celebrate each milestone. But here's the thing, my friends, setting specific and measurable goals is not enough. We also need to have a plan to achieve them. Goals without a plan are just wishes. We need to break down our goals into smaller actionable steps. This will make our goals more manageable and less overwhelming. It's like eating an elephant. We can't do it in one bite, but we can take one bite at a time. Another crucial aspect of achieving our goals is accountability. We need to hold ourselves accountable for our actions and progress. And one way to do this is by sharing our goals with others. When we tell someone else about our goals, we are making a commitment not just to ourselves but to them as well. This creates a sense of responsibility and motivation to follow through. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but what if I don't achieve my goals? My answer to that is, it's okay to fail. Failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of success. We learn and grow from our failures. And if we don't achieve our goals, it means we need to reevaluate our approach and make necessary changes. As long as we keep moving forward, we are on the right track. Which leads us to number one, set goals and achieve them by writing down your goals. Now, you may be thinking, what's the big deal about writing down your goals? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it is the key to unlocking your potential and turning your dreams into reality. You see, our minds are powerful, but they can also be easily distracted. We have so many thoughts and ideas floating around that it can be overwhelming. But when we take the time to write down our goals, we are giving our minds a clear direction. We are telling our brains, this is what I want to achieve, and this is how I'm going to do it. Writing down your goals also gives you a sense of accountability. When you put pen to paper, you are making a commitment to yourself. You are saying, I am serious about achieving this goal, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen. This sense of accountability will push you to take action and stay focused on your goals. But writing down your goals is not just about making a commitment to yourself. It is also about creating a roadmap for success. When you write down your goals, you are essentially creating a plan of action. You are breaking down your big dreams into smaller achievable steps. This not only makes your goals more manageable but also gives you a clear path to follow. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have my goals in my head. I don't need to write them down. Trust me, my friends, I have been there. I used to think the same way. But let me tell you, there is a significant difference between having your goals in your head and having them written down on paper. When your goals are just in your head, they can easily get lost in the chaos of everyday life. But when you write them down, you are giving them a physical form. You are giving them life. And when you see your goals written down in front of you, it becomes real. It becomes something tangible that you can work towards. Furthermore, writing down your goals helps you to stay focused and motivated. Life can be unpredictable, and there will be times when you may feel discouraged or lose sight of your goals. But when you have them written down, you can always refer back to them. You can remind yourself of why you started and reignite that fire within you. Your written goals will serve as a constant reminder of your purpose and keep you on track towards achieving them. Now, I want to emphasize the importance of writing down your goals in detail. Don't just write, I want to be successful. Be specific, what does success mean to you? Is it financial freedom? Is it starting your own business? Is it traveling the world? Write down your goals in as much detail as possible. The more specific you are, the more likely you are to achieve them. And don't be afraid to dream big. As the saying goes, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. So don't limit yourself when writing down your goals. Allow yourself to dream without boundaries and write them down with conviction. But writing down your goals is just the first step. The next crucial step is taking action. You can have the most detailed and well-written goals, but if you don't take action, they will remain just words on a piece of paper. So, my friends, I urge you to take action towards your goals every single day. Even if it's just a small step, it is still progress. And progress, no matter how small, is what will ultimately lead you to success. 
Writing down your goals is not just a simple task. It is a powerful tool that will help you to set and achieve your goals. It will give you clarity, accountability, and a roadmap to success. So, my friends, I challenge you to take out a pen and paper and start writing down your goals today. I promise you, it will be the best decision you ever make. Thank you.